Hey everybody, welcome to Enliven Wellness. Um, so I'm just doing a quick little vlog update on my move. Um, as many of you guys know, I have to get rid of like pretty much everything, especially in my kitchen um, because of mold. Yay! Um, I also have what's called the HLA-DR sequencing um, in my DNA. And so like it's estimated that one out of four people have this little snip is what they call it. Um, and it just means that I'm not as effective at clearing mold or lime from my system. So I really have to be extra special careful. Um, so yesterday and just the past couple of days have been a little bit hard because I've had to get rid of all my books, all my spices, all my, um, like lot, lots of things. Basically anything that was porous, I can't take with me. Um, or I have to have it specially cleaned. <laughs> my cat loves to bake appearances on all my videos. Hi, baby. Hi. Um, yes. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you, like, um, I used to have a pantry full of, you know, lots of spices, and I have a whole spice collection that I'm going to try to give away to some people, but um, I'm going to try to salvage some spices, but, you know, it's totally empty. Everything's gone. I mean, not everything. I've got like a couple little teas, but I'm gonna get those fogged. Um, basically, there's this guy that I work with who's a mold remediator, and um, he's been great. He has a fogging machine that he can bring in and fog um, my items um, that I'd like to keep, um, and it kills all the, the, the spores that are on those items, um, so it's pretty awesome. Um, but you know, like, here's my bookshelf that used to be full of books. Um, no more. No more books. And then my other bookshelf that used to be full of books is over there, and they're gone. So, um, yeah, it's a lot. Um, and all my family photos have to be put in storage, all my paintings, everything. Um, I'm going to be getting them cleaned over the coming years, but I'm not going to take any chances you know, and a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, it must be so hard to get rid of your stuff. And I'm like, not really, you know, I mean, like, yeah, it is. But, you know, really what it comes down to is that they're things. You know, these are just things. And I really want to get better, um, like 100%. And I am, I'm getting a lot better. I'm really improving um, in so many ways. But I want to start over. And, you know, to any of you who are going through this out there, um, know that your things do not define you. Um, you know, I asked the universe to simplify my life a couple of months ago and it is just making me kind of laugh now because it's really simplifying my life. Um, to get rid of so much stuff and to downsize and to do all these, these different things that I have to do to, um, you know, really fully recover. And it's really made me think a lot about what makes me, me. Like, yeah, family photos, sure, they're great memories and they're beautiful. And, and I'm not saying like, you know, I'm a photographer, so I love taking photos. But really, those memories are still in my head. Um, they're still there. And, you know, for anybody, again, who has to go through this, just know that, yeah, it can be painful getting rid of these things, but... They're just things. Your health is really your true wealth, and that is what you've got. Your body is your true home. No matter where you go, there you are, is one of my favorite sayings. And just know that you can do this. You can. You can let go of your things, and you can start over fresh and new. And I've really just been seeing it as an opportunity to really start fresh and new. Um, and that's what I love, you know, is like, I love simplicity and I love starting again. I, I didn't think I was going to love starting again. And, you know, I, I have a hard time with change. I'm not a person that's like the best with change, but this experience is really forcing me to embrace that, um, to embrace change and to embrace letting go. And it feels so freeing. Like, yeah, while it was hard getting rid of all my beautiful spices that I've collected over, you know, the past couple of years or like, you know, just things and books and all that stuff. Yeah, it was hard to watch them go, but 
at the same time, I felt a big weight come off of my shoulders. It was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't have to worry about so much stuff. Like, I don't need to have so much stuff. Like, it's really not necessary. We're so in like a consumer overly stuff society and I really don't want it anymore. Like, I just want to have the basics and the necessities and I'm really turning into a minimalist and it feels so freeing. So take it as an opportunity to just start over, start fresh, literally. So anyway, this is just a little update and um, thank you so much for subscribing and interacting with me. I love it. Um, if you do want to work together in any capacity to try to get you better, if you're going through weird health stuff and you feel like, what the hell is going on with me? Um, I do offer 15 minute free consultations and you can schedule your own and then we can start working together formally to get you feeling better. I can coach you through all the ins and outs of strange illnesses and getting better. Um, it's what I do. So anyway, uh, contact me in the description down below is my information and thank you so much. Choose your life. When you feel like you can't, learn that you can. See you.